Yo, what up, Kenny Bogus, taste this. Welcome to another exciting adventure at your favorite show, Kenny's Kitchen, with your boy Young Kitchen, that would be me, this dude, and yo people, man. Man, I'm kinda inspired from last week's dish, man, with the, uh, remember we had the creamy, uh, not even the star of the dish, but the side that came with the, uh, the chicken we did. Uh, so I wanna kinda remix it, baby. What I wanna do this week is a kinda spin off of last week, and but it's gonna be kicked up, couple notches. So with no further ado, what it is, it's a, it's a creamy linguine. Yeah, we take it into the pasta and spinach. Like I said, it's inspired by the last thing. So the creamy linguine and spinach, and it's gonna be tossed in a delicious sun-dried tomato creamy sauce. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Deliciousness, you know what I'm saying? You can serve it as a side, or, if you, uh, or you can add a protein to it if you like, but with no further ado, you about to see it, because we about to do it. Right here, right now, Kenny's Kitchen. Taste this, church. Let's go. Okay, people, so getting started, a couple simple ingredients. Front and center, I got about uh, six ounces of uh, fresh spinach that's gonna be magical in this dish. I uh, got some more grain, I actually got some fresh basil. So you gonna see what uh, happened with that. The young bay's back on deck. I got uh, some sun-dried tomatoes right here that I chopped up, and that's about, about a half a cup. And then I got a cup of uh, fresh Parmesan cheese off the block that I shredded up. A couple more ingredients that you're gonna see as we uh, proceed to give you what you need, but uh, let's move on over to the skillet and uh, get this sauce going, all right? Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna heat a large skillet over uh, medium heat, and I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of uh, olive oil. What's up? I'm gonna let that heat up. All right. No further ado, we're gonna add these sun-dried tomatoes to the mix. And we're gonna take three cloves of garlic mixed. Like so. And we're just gonna stir this around for about 30 seconds until it get fragrant. And it's starting to get fragrant already, y'all. Uh, mix everybody up. And this is gonna make for some magic, people. I'm trying to tell y'all. Such a super simple recipe this is that we're sharing with y'all today. It's about 30 seconds or so. It's almost real time. So then we're gonna add a, a cup of half and half to the mix. About a cup. Then uh, give it a stir. We're gonna bring this up to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, we're gonna immediately bring it to a simmer. You see the uh, sun-dried tomatoes instantly gives that, uh, brings a little red color, turns kind of an orange, actually, to the half and half. All right, so nice little stir going. Like I said, we're gonna uh, let that come up to a boil. We're gonna add about a, a half a teaspoon of paprika to the mix. And about a fourth a teaspoon of salt. All right, and we're gonna bring it down to a simmer because it is boiling as we can see. Get out a little stir. And it's getting thick already, man. And if it gets too thick too quick, you can always add a little bit more of your half and half, all right? All right, so the next step, we're gonna add about half of this cheese. Got a cup, so we're gonna add about half of that baby in there. For now, that's about right. And we're gonna bring the heat back up to a medium. And we're just gonna stir. Until that cheese melts in there. Nice and deliciously. Don't that look amazing, y'all? Pretty doggone amazing, man. Got your sun-dried tomatoes, your garlic. 
Just a little paprika, just a pinch of salt. Get your Parmesan cheese going. In about 30 minutes to a minute, just let that cheese melt real good. Keep stirring it. All right, so at this point, my uh, sauce got a little thick, so I added another quarter cup of uh, the half and half to the mix and kept stirring. And then at this point, I'm gonna add the other half to the cheese, just half of the time. Works out pretty good. Get the rest of it from up top. We're gonna stir this for another 30 seconds or so. Just until the cheese melts. And then I'm gonna get surgical. And when I say surgical people, it's time to add some green to this thing, man. All right. We're gonna add the spinach, baby. Oh yes, all of this vintage. Spintage. <laughs> So, people, what we're going to do is keep stirring the spinach until it starts to wilt. It should take about a minute, and it should wilt in there real, real good. Don't be scared. Just don't uh, try not to make a big mess because you don't have a whole lot of sauce to mess with. But that spinach, I'm telling you, give it about a minute. It's going to wilt in there real good. Like so. And oh yeah, people, I didn't even mention the uh, pasta, the linguini, the linguini. So uh, take you about eight ounces of linguini, which is about a half a box and boil it uh, for about 12 minutes or whatever the instructions are, per the, the box instructions. Drain it, put it to the side. If you want, you can save a little bit of that uh, water from the boil, just in case you need to add it to the mix. But at this point, that's what it's time to do, baby. I definitely, uh, pre-boil that uh, linguine and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add that to the mix. Just like a so. All right, well, we're gonna stir that in there. Incorporate the young linguine with the sauce. Like so, people, like so. Give it a taste, taste your pasta, and uh, add a little bit more salt if needed. And I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Give it another stir. Uh, that basil, we are gonna chop that up and we are gonna use that uh, as a garnish at the plating. And with no further ado, people, I'm gonna give it one more stir and I'm gonna meet y'all at the plating. Let's go. <laughs> well, there you have it, people. There you have it, this delicious, creamy, and delicious spinach pasta in a delicious, 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 did I mention delicious? <laughs> Sun-dried tomato creamy sauce. And I think y'all know what time of day it is. People, let's zoom on in to the deliciousness. And I did top it with some of that fresh uh, chopped basil. Mm-mm-mm. All like mm -mm -mm. As we zoom out, people, gotta say gratitude, man. We appreciate y'all for tuning in, doing what you're doing every week. Keep on doing what you're doing, man. Drop in the comments what you want to see us do moving forward on Kenny's Kitchen. If it's fly, we're going to give it a try. You know, we're going to catch y'all next week with another banger, all right? Y'all be good. We out. Church. There you have it, people. There you have it. The linguine, the spinach, the creamy linguine and spinach, you know what I'm saying, with the uh, sun-dried tomato cream sauce, man. Done right, sleeves. we always do here on Kenny's Kitchen. This is the part where I got to salute y'all, the part where we loke up. Got to say gratitude. Got to ask y'all to share this thing on your platforms, on your socials, your media platforms, you know what I'm saying? Let's spread this thing out. Help your boy do that thing, all right? And, uh, oh, special shout out to my man, Jeff Lovett, man. He blessed me with this demonstration, you know what I'm saying? The Hope Dealer, check him out, Love It Entertainment. That's my mans. And check us out. On uh, Tasters.com, man, the store is officially open. We got all kind of fly stuff on that as well. You be seeing us rock. You know what I'm saying? And you don't stop. And uh, when you share this thing, this dish or any of our dishes, uh, as I always say, uh, be sure to hashtag us, man. Hashtag Kenny's Kitchen. Hashtag Taste D-I-S. And uh, we're going to catch y'all out there on the flip, man. 
Did I say, did I ask y'all to subscribe? Subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Hit that like button, man, them thumbs up. We need that love. Ring that bell for the notifications, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we're gonna get up out of here, man. Catch y'all on the flip all right? Y'all be good. It's all about flavor, neighbor. Catch y'all next week. Church. Mm -hmm.